welcome so today we are going to look at uh, the shuttle systems so the shuttle systems they are usually involved uh, in the shuttering shuttering of the cytosolic nad to the mitochondria where they will carry out electron transport chain and uh, which is coupled to the oxidative phosphorylation to produce atp now which are the sources of this cytosolic nadh remember remember in the aerobic glycolysis in the reaction is it reaction number six where we will convert a glycerhide three phosphate to one three bisphosphoglycerate and the enzyme there is the glycerhide three phosphate dehydrogenase there we usually produce an nadh now the nadh it is useless when it is in the cytosol it has to go to the mitochondria to where to will it will enter the electron transport chain it will donate its hydrogens to the to the glycide uh, not the nad dehydrogenase i look at the electron transport chain later but today we are focusing on the shuttle system there are usually two glycerol phosphate shuttle system and the malate aspartate shuttle system let's start with the glycerol phosphate shuttle system so glycerol glycerol phosphate shuttle system here we have dihydroxyacetone phosphate dihydroxyacetone phosphate remember is usually produced when you cleave uh, the fructose one six this phosphate by the ardois to produce dihydroxyacetone phosphate and the glycerhydride 3 phosphate now that dihydroxyacetone phosphate this nad here is the one which is produced from the glycerhydride 3 phosphate dehydrogenase reaction then it is added to to the dihydroxyacetone phosphate via the and reaction which is catalyzed by the glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase to form glycerol 3 phosphate glycerol 3 phosphate by the way is a very is a compound which you interact it especially in the in the synthesis of the triacyl glycerols i will look at that another time uh -huh. so let's see how this reaction will go Let me clear. So let's start drawing again. So you have added you are. So you will add these two hydrogens, this hydrogen and that one. One is added. All of them are added to carbon number two. They are one. They are another one. Here and here is where they were added to form glycerol three phosphate. Now Glycerol 3 phosphate can uh, move from the cytosol to the mitochondria, as shown in this arrow. It can readily move. This is the cytosol here. This is the mitochondria here, the mitochondrial matrix. So after it has moved, let's, let me show you what will happen after it has moved. Let me clear all those, sorry. So this, it has moved into the inner mitochondrial membrane. So this is the inner mitochondrial. It has crossed the mitochondrial membrane, that is. Then this is where glycerol 3 phosphate. Remember, this was cytosolic glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. Uh, remember dehydrogenase. Dehydrogenation is removal of hydrogen, but in this reaction, we are adding hydrogen. But Convectionally, we call those exams dehydrogenases. Uh, this is the cytosolic glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase, but this is the mitochondrial glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. The same enzyme, except one is cytosolic, the other one is mitochondrial. 
So in this, this dehydrogenase is FAD linked. Okay, it's FAD linked. That is a very, very important. It's FAD linked. So it will remove the hydrogen. It will remove that one and that one. So in this, you cannot see them here. So they are added to the FAD, flavin added in the nucleotide. Remember in the electron transport chain, FAD usually enter via coenzyme Q. Is it, was it also known as ubiquitin? Something ubiquit, ubiquitin, ubiquinon? Cannot remember very well. After dehydrogenation, we will form the dihydroxyacetone phosphate, which will now cross the mitochondrial membranes back into the cytosol. And the reaction goes like that. That is the glycerol, glycerol phosphate. Shadow system. Glycerol. Glycerol phosphate shadow system. It is, remember, let me move this. Remember this glycerol three for glycerol phosphate shadow system. Since it is FAD linked, we will produce only two ATPs in the electron transport chain. And it is found in the skeletal muscle and the brain. Let's go to the second shuttle system. I want you to note some differences between these two systems. Second system is known as the mallet aspartate shuttle system found in the liver, the heart, and the kidney. So when you look now, this is where some people get confused. Here we have oxaloacetate in the cytosol, okay? This is still the cytosol. This is the mitochondria. So here, oxaloacetate is hydrogenated. Remember the marriage dehydrogenase? It, it is a reversible reaction. It can convert marriage to oxaloacetate and back. It is a reversible reaction. But in the reverse, we, we will add an NAD, NADH. Remember in ADH, I've said one of the sources from the from the, the reaction, which is characterized by the glycerdehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase. Reaction number six of glycolysis. I look at glycolysis. So after adding the hydrogens to oxaloacetate, we form mallet. Mallet can freely move from the cytosol to the mitochondria. It moves. Once in the mitochondria, mallet is dehydrogenated by we add an NAD to form an NADH and hydrogen ion via a mitochondrial marit dehydrogenase. Marit dehydrogenase here was cytosolic, yes, mitochondrial. Okay. Then what next? After the after marit. So we will form, huh? so we will form oxaloacetate as, uh, as, as we expected. After forming an oxaloacetate here, remember this, now this is NAD linked. Mitochondrial married to dehydrogenase is NAD linked. Unlike the mitochondrial uh, glycerol D phosphate dehydrogenase, which was FAD linked. So it will go to the electron transport chain where it will enter via complex one and NAD will always give you three ATPs in the electron transport chain unlike FAD which will give you two. So uh, upon forming oxaloacetate, oxaloacetate cannot close the mitochondrial membranes. So we will take an oxaloacetate, we add it to glutamate. Glutamate is an amino acid. Then this reaction is catalyzed by the ami an amino transferase. Its real name is glutamate oxaloacetate amino transferase. Let me just uh, write the abbreviations. Glutamate oxaloacetate amino transferase. 
So it is a goat, a goat. <laughs> Glutamate, oxaloacetate, amino transferase. Maybe some of you can, can read it, goat, with uh, other things. Okay. To form, after that, after that reaction, we will form, uh, we will form aspartate and alpha ketoglutarate. These two can close. Okay, alpha ketoglutarate, remember, is an, an intermediate of the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Aspartate is a, is it a, an, an amino acid? Yes. So after that, after it closes, after it has closed through, what will happen next? They are combined then. They are also combined. So they are combined by now. This was the mitochondrial form of glutamate oxaloacetate amino transferase. This is a cytosolic form to form, to give you glutamate and oxaloacetate. So you, this is the marriage aspartate shuttle system. Let me observe it. We, we via the cytosolic marriage dehydrogenase, we form marriage. Marriage is transported to the mitochondria. We carry it to dehydrogenation. NAD goes to the electron transport chain, which will give you three ATPs. Then oxaloacetate is combined with glutamate via the a reaction catalyzed by the glutamate oxaloacetate amino transferase to give you aspartate and alpha ketoglutarate, which are transported to the cytosol, where they are combined by the same enzyme, the cytosolic glutamate oxaloacetate amino transferase to give you oxaloacetate and glutamate. And the reaction moves on and on and on. Let's go back to this one for those. Here I said it is dihydroxy acetone phosphate, the cytosolic glycerol 3 phosphate. I want you to see the differences between the cytosolic glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase and the mitochondrial glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. It is the same enzyme, but one is cytosolic, another one is mitochondrial. The cytosolic is NAD linked, but the mitochondrial is FAD linked. Okay. So in the married aspartate, an NAD in the cytosol will give you two ATPs when you use the glycerol phosphate shuttle system. But an NAD in the cytosol will give so. Yes, as I was saying, sorry for that. So here, to give you, so as I was saying, uh, there, the, in the married aspartate shuttle system, you get three ATPs, okay? But in the grasser or phosphate shuttle, you get two ATPs. So with that, I think uh, that is all. And uh, thank you for your attention and time.